is in the coma for letting the records get, letting the records get, letting the records get. <laughs> I think Iron Man is becoming like my favorite superhero. Like before I didn't really like him. When I was little I really liked uh, Spider-Man and the Hulk. Uh, I don't really know who else I was really into. Now I don't really like Spider-Man. The Hulk's always dope but they never really show him that much and I haven't really had a chance to read a lot of comics. I've always liked Deadpool. Um, but Iron Man's becoming one of my favorites. Not only because he's like fucking rich and he's not any, like, he doesn't have any powers. He just kind of gave himself that. Um, similar to Batman in a way I guess like both their parents were kind of like rich and then they kind of you know but at the same time it, it's kind of more like I'm a Marvel guy for one <laughs> for two um he, he he'll like fight for you know what he believes in and he'll fight for like other people and that's kind of a given if you're a hero but at the same time like just his ability to come up with new things all the time I just really like that idea like he's always besting like at first he just bests everyone else by making a suit right then he makes a better suit slimmer whatever he makes it so he can go to the different atmospheres you know he makes all these different suits not only for himself but other people and at first it takes him you know however long to take it off uh, get it on and off then he gets up to the point where he can like switch it from this person to this person or he can just call it in or he can even call in different suits for other people like spider-man and then he gets to the nanotech where he just fucking taps his chest and it appears and he's like the fuck bitch what's up so <laughs> it's like he's always kind of coming up with new shit and to me that's kind of like something i like to do but the cool thing is is he never you know they, they never show in the movies he's like oh i'm developing this new stuff you know what i mean they don't show you that so it's kind of like he's a person who works in silence and then when he needs to, you know, show that, he's like, oh, fuck, I, I've had this. Like, I don't even give a fuck, you know? Like, oh, this ain't nothing new. Nanotech, you like it? Fuck you. <laughs> you know, it's just like, he just pops it up and he's like, oh, what's up? So, I like that, you know, he's always ready and he's just, I don't know. Like, before, like I said, I never really liked him because I, there was no reason to. Same with Captain America, like, he's, yeah. But I don't know, I really like Iron Man after, you know, kind of seeing Infinity War uh, pretty late, but... It just, to me, um, starting to think, you know, back on where he's come from. It's kind of cool, you know, he kind of came from, even though he did, he did start rich, like, that's not the part I'm, I'm saying, like, he came from making this to this to this to this to this, and he's always just bettering himself and bettering himself, yet working in silence at the same time, you know. And in a way, you could say, for music, he's kind of like, you know, like Eminem. You know, Eminem did crazy shit that nobody else did before, and to this day can just work in silence at home and just drop a surprise album that'll beat out all the top albums that have been the top for weeks and he'll do it in a couple hours and that'll be in other countries as well as ours so pretty ridiculous if you think about it and to me that's that's something like i strive to be so i, I don't know it's just kind of like it's relatable and i guess that's what makes a hero your favorite you know and to me too, like it, it relates to me and my music because even if you look, well, you probably haven't like seen my stickers or anything, but I guess it depends on when you're watching this. So, you know, I have like my first stickers where they just kind of were like, uh, you know, Timo Cruz, then it, you know, my name obviously, and then a rap artist, and then it said at it's Timo Cruz, and then at the bottom it said available on, you know, uh, music streaming services, it showed YouTube, a couple things. Now it's, upgraded to what I have now is my current one and it says you know not only Timo Cruz rappers at the top and now it says you know social media at its Timo Cruz and then it shows a Facebook Twitter snapchat Instagram so you know it has more just to it and then also now I have a website which wasn't even a thing before so now I have my website timocruz.com and then at the bottom I changed it not only to saying oh I'm available on this this and this but I said available on 175 plus music streaming services such as and then i put on you know the top ones you know title apple music itunes shazam which isn't really music but you know it's available there um pandora spotify um amazon music literally like basically everything <laughs> not literally everything but basically everything so like it's on deezer and shit that i don't even know what it is but it's on there and I also have like the upgraded plan to where my music will go on to uh, 
if like someone makes a new thing like uh, YouTube music is new now if I wasn't on there before like I released my music let's say a couple years ago before me YouTube music and there was just Google music it would transfer over um, even though they might transfer over another way I don't know how Google does that but you know even if it didn't it would because I have that upgraded plan so let's just say like you know before beats music before title before you know all this shit you won't have your stuff on there but mine will be on there because I have that upgraded plan some people don't and that's why you can't find their music anywhere but like YouTube you know because back in the day they didn't have any of that shit so and there's some people that have it or some people that are like okay let me do it now but they you know for a little bit they, you know they're putting out new albums which aren't new they're old but they haven't been on you know these websites and stuff so Spotify to me is like the biggest one um, but you know I'm on there and then people are like oh you're on Apple Music and Spotify those are the two main ones but then you know title is pretty big too people hear that they're like oh, okay I'm like, yeah, you can like Shazam it. And they're like, oh, that's dope. And that's another upgrade too. It's like a dollar a year per song. Um, and I have another upgrade that's uh, uh, like, no matter what, my music will stay on everything forever. Even if like I were to die or something. Like that's literally how they explain it. They're like, even if you die, it's, it's you're good. Um, so it's like, oh, okay, I, I guess, <laughs> fuck, sure, so. But yeah, you know, my stuff's, you know, always upgrading my music. You know, I go from kind of being like monotone, how everybody starts, to kind of putting more oomph and a better delivery, to even then a month later to having, you know, I'm always like getting twice as good, like every month, you know what I mean? So I'm getting every day 1% better. You know, every time I step in the booth, I'm getting better. Every time I record anything, mix anything, you know, I'm always getting better. So that's what I meant. I like you know Iron Man I kind of he's becoming one of my favorites I relate to it I kind of you know I like that kind of idea and everything of just kind of besting yourself and just constantly getting better yet working in silence until you need to show that or until you you know drop your next project or whatever so I think it's pretty cool and I think 2018 or 2019 is gonna be kind of like that year like shit's just gonna blow up or you know what I mean Man, I just made spaghetti for the first time, and that shit was bomb as fuck. I can't even fucking lie, bro. But, I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. Just because I went and picked up some stuff um, the other day from uh, my mom's. Um, probably, you know, gonna go get more shit so I can sell it before I move here, but um, it's my hats. Oh my god, I have so many hats. I have more, too, upstairs. I don't know how many hats I have, but we're gonna go through them and there's gonna be a fucking a ton. So, these are all my, I'm pretty sure these are all like flat brims. They're not all snapbacks, because back in the day I didn't like snapbacks. Uh, I didn't even know snapbacks was a thing. I don't know when they became a thing, but I'm sure they were. Um, I think I have a couple of Velcros and shit, but I used to like fitteds a lot. Um, as you can tell from, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to tell from a couple of my hats, man. Some of these are dirty as fuck. And this isn't all my hats. I also had like a Spurs hat that my wolf chewed up when I was young. I don't know um, when we had my wolf. That was that was a while ago. So he chewed that up because I accidentally, you know, was climbing around on the roof of the garage, and it fell off into his uh, his cage because uh, it was just like a big fence, you know, because he was a wolf, so he could you know be outside year round. But then he could also go into the garage because my dad like put a hole in. It. Anyway, so. He like, chewed it up, and I was fucking pissed, man. I love that hat. It was just a normal Spurs hat, nothing crazy. Um, and then I've had a couple hats. Like, I had this yellow skateboarding hat. Um, so I was always big into skateboarding. And I'm sure I've had more than that, but I'm going to go through all these. Um, and, yeah, we're going to have some nostalgia. Man, this kind of makes me realize how much money I've spent on hats. This hat right here, just the Chevy. I actually don't know where this hat came from. I don't remember ever wearing this hat, but I do like Chevy, so fuck it. It is what it is. I'm sure uh, I probably just got it from somebody, like a couple of these hats. Like this one, this US Army one, I got this, I'm pretty sure, from my grandma, because she was wearing it, and I was like, oh, let me get that. And uh, my mom was actually in the Army, so it's just, you know, it was kind of cool at the time, but I haven't seen that hat in a long time. Um, this one's nothing. This is just an all-white hat. So that's 
literally nothing that is just i don't know where that came from this hat though means a lot to me um and it looks so bad but this hat oh my god that is fucking dirty boy but see it's a it's a fitted because i hated well i don't know if that's like i said i don't know if snapbacks were a thing but i just didn't like anything else this thing is dirty as fuck you can see the sticker mark all the sweat and shit i got this when i was little um you know i just always listened to a lot of 50 cent as most people know he's my favorite rapper and um i'd always see him and every like well a lot of rappers really just a lot of people in general still to this day wear new york hats for a lot of reasons but me it was just because i saw everyone else doing it and i was like oh i want one <laughs> basically in a way this was one hat that i still like love to this day i wish this hat still fit me so the t on there for me was cool because it's like my name you know um and then how the bull is like offset i think it's dope and on the back it's got a little bull there too and it's like shiny and i love this hat this was one hat that i like you know we have family uh in texas and I wasn't really gonna get it at first because I saw this other hat that I think is up next. And my dad was like, oh, you should definitely get that, you should get that, you should get that. And I was like, all right, can I get both? And he was like, yeah, all right, cool. There was a couple other hats I'm pretty sure I saw. This hat too is another hat. I don't know what brand this is, but it's just a never dead. I don't know. It just has CS on it, which I think you can, yeah, you can see like kind of on the front too. But it's just a dope hat. So another fitted. Um, I guess these aren't aren't flat brims, but my, the New York ones. That's kind of when the trend kind of started there. I'm pretty sure I got those after that. Um, this was kind of a weird hat, but it's just an Etnies hat. I started skating a lot. I got it. Um, you can see their logo up there. It's like a flat brim, but it's like a a not real. I don't know. It's a really weird. I'm not gonna put it on or anything, but you know. Um, this I don't think this was my first Brewers hat but the Brewers hat this is like one of their older M's they have the Milwaukee Brewers like the glove then they have the one with the wheat like this and then they have the M you know just the normal M they have they have so many different logos this one though is super fucking blue um, my grandpa actually got me this my grandpa Boudreaux um when we were at a game, I think it was me, my cousin, my grandpa. Man, that was probably middle school. I think I was in like seventh or eighth. I think it was eighth grade, if I remember correctly. I got that hat because I remember going through some shit at the time. Um, this was another hat I fucking loved, but I got it super big because this this was like my first fitted hat that I kind of like. Well, my dad got me it, but I like picked it out, so it's just a black on black on black you know milwaukee brewers but i got it at a seven and a half and i think my head was like a seven a seven and an eighth or something like that like because i'd always have my hair short even with my hair long that that bitch is big um same with this one this one's a seven and a half i got this from my dad who i think he got from my uncle scotty i think it's cool because it's a converse hat you don't see many of those especially flat brim like that um, and there's a couple of hats in here that I've gotten from, ooh, excuse me, my uncle, which he gave to my dad that my dad didn't really want. This one I think my mom had gotten me. It's a fox, obviously. Uh, and I grew up, you know, skating. Um, I grew up loving baseball. Uh, that was really the only sport I really liked besides like fighting and shit and skating, but that doesn't really count. Well, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but then, you know, I, I did also have, like, a dirt track in my backyard, kind of. You know, I had a wolf. When I when I was little, man, I had a lot of shit. Um, this hat, I don't remember where I got this hat. I might have bought this one myself. The MB's pretty small in there. But, yeah, that's the Milwaukee Brewers, the glove, if you didn't know what I was talking about. Now you know. Because uh, I, I was thinking maybe that's the one my grandpa got me. But I know, I know the other one was the one my grandpa got me, for sure, because that was my first 47. Uh, this hat I wore a lot in high school. It's just an all-black fox hat. And on the back, it has, like, the little fox 
on a snapback, and I thought that was cool. A lot of people like that hat, just because it was all black. And then also I'm in Wisconsin, so a lot of people, you know, do their shit out here. And then this hat I kind of already showed. I had gotten this one when I picked up, uh, whenever the, it's a Nike too, but whenever the um, Jordan Horizons came out, I picked that up because I was going in there and I was going to get me and my girlfriend some uh, some Futures. And then we thought the Horizons were the Futures because we didn't even know the Horizons were a thing at the time because they had literally just hit the stores. So there was also a deal there on hats at the time. But the, the shoes, we ended up getting like all black ones, which I think they're pretty cool. I barely get a chance to wear them, but I still have them. But yeah, I thought this was pretty dope. You know, the design on it. Um, it fits not my head. It's just too big. But otherwise, I definitely wear it. I love that hat. And then I also got her a Jordan beanie, I'm pretty sure. Um, not the cheapest. This right here was a hat I wore a lot as well, I'm pretty sure, in middle school. I want to say middle school or early high school. And, yeah, it's a 7 and 8, yeah. So, Detroit. But I just love that little bit of red in there. And even on the back, it just... It looks so nice. It makes it pop so much. So, I really, really love that hat. I used to rock that, like I said, all the time for some years. And I'm assuming that was my high school years, because right after that, my high school hat. Horlick. Fucking Rebels. Word up. <laughs> I, I would alternate those, because they have the same color wave. Um, damn. I've never even, like, worn this hat. The reason I've never worn this one is this one's too small. This one's only a seven. Seven? Too small. Seven and a half. Too big. Seven and an eighth. Or maybe seven and a quarter if I have, like, longer hair. But this New York hat is really dope. I think this was my third one because I have another one that I, uh... Actually, like, if, if you see my logo, I have it in my logo. Um, but I have it backwards, so it's like this. And it's a snapback, though. This one's a fitted, which, as you can see, is really fucking tight. But on the bottom, it says New York. And how I know this is the second one I got is because the first one I got said New York on... Or no, it says Yankees on the bottom. This one says New York on the bottom. Still dope. Still love it. Um... The other one, I think, is a snapback, I want to say. But yeah, I really like this hat. At This was the point, though, where I started to switch to snapbacks because I started to kind of change my hair or just it was like people didn't know what size, you know, hat I wanted, but they knew I liked hats. So I'll probably go grab those and go through those, too. Here, this was back when, I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone went through this phase, back when you thought Gucci was Gucci. Um... So those were all the colors the hat came in. I actually got um, shoes. Oh, they, didn't, they weren't really matching, but, you know, I had a lot of Coogee stuff. Um, I, I mean, it is what it is, you know. I thought it was Gucci, but everybody thought it was Gucci. And then when I grew up, I was like, it's not, but I still like it. You know what I mean? Most people would be like, ah, that's like, you know, most, um, like they would say that's like an African brand or something. I don't really give a fuck. Like, it is what it is. A lot of people liked me for wearing that. So, here are some of my only football hats, I'm pretty sure. So, I got a Steelers hat. That's my, I'm pretty sure this was my first 950. Um, that's the logo on the side. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to go through my beanies or anything, just like my brimmed hats. But, I do have like a Supreme beanie, uh, a couple Neff beanies, um, stuff like that. This one I really, really like, and I would rock this one all the time in high school, my freshman year, I remember. I got them at the same time, as you can tell, but it's like shiny and shit, and it just looks really dope, and it has the Raiders logo right there. On the bottom is green. Um, yeah, this hat was dope. A lot of people liked it, how it sparkles like that. I thought it was interesting. Like I, At first, I didn't know if I should get it, because I was like, is that too much? Like, Does that look right? But then I ended up getting it, and a lot of people were pretty cool. This hat, I really like. If you know this brand, shout out to you, especially if you're from where I'm from and you know this brand. The only reason I know of the brand 
is because my dad used to work for, it was like um, this Harley connected to a Silk, I'm pretty sure, um, or it was like close to one or whatever in Milwaukee. But there was a tattoo shop connected to the Harley place and my dad was doing tattoos out of there for a while. And um, they worked with Sullen. So if you don't know what Sullen is, they're an art company, uh, you know, tattoo company, but they make like clothing and shit. So I was one of the only people in, um, in fucking probably, like most people in Wisconsin don't even know what this, this is like a West Coast brand. Like not many people know about it, but I would love to be sponsored by Sullen. That would be fucking dope. I was thinking about that the other day. Actually upstairs, oh, here's my other New York hat. But upstairs I have um, big like, only people that like work for Sullen or something like are sponsored by them have there's like these big circular poster things you can put on like the wall I have a couple of those for my dad I have a couple different shirts uh, a couple more hats upstairs those are really his but he's like oh you can have them if you really want there's like a green one a black one well the, the one's like black and gray one's like black and green and then there's the one that I have which actually has the logo on it which is the skull instead of crossbones it's paintbrushes so you know it's like art you know, which is pretty dope. Now this hat, I love too. This was the one I bought myself. It is a snapback. And this is the one I was talking about We're on the bottom. It says Yankees, not New York. And this is the one I have in my picture where the hat's backwards. And you can see the little bit of it in the picture because I'm thinking I'm gonna turn like this. I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm turn like that. I think I'm turn like this though. And now I got the coffee in my hand. But yeah, that's... The um, that's the New York hat in the picture. The infamous <laughs> my logo. Love this hat. Used to rock it all the time. It's really in pretty good shape. I could probably clean it up a little bit. But yeah, I I used to rock the hat all the time. This hat I found actually, um, I think last year. And if you don't know. Um, not only did I skateboard, not only did I like BMXing, not only did I like to shoot guns as a kid, I also was into lowriders because I'm fucking Mexican, right? Duh. <laughs> so if you don't know what that is, that dude, he is like the lowrider magazine, you know, their logo. So, you know, it says trademark on there on the back. You know, it has their shit. Um, but this hat's dope. I found it actually at a... I think it was Ross um, and I was just looking for shit because you know you know you sometimes you find some cool stuff there and I found that and I was like damn I gotta pick that up and there was no price tag on it or, or anything on it so they just gave it to me for like a good price and I was like hell yeah I'll take that this was another hat from my uncle that he had given my dad this one actually fits me it's a duck bill it's not a flat bill I don't know I think he does them himself but so instead of it being flat it has that extra like lip that goes up the Detroit's a little bit smaller but yeah, so you can kind of see it's not like flat. I don't know. It's hard to really tell, but it, it just kind of goes up a little bit. You can probably see it right there. But I used to rock this one a lot too. Fitted, like I said. Um, really like that one. Really simple. Just wear it with anything, you know. Uh, this, I wore a couple times. Never was like super huge into it. It's just a Young and Reckless hat. Los Angeles, you know, white on black. My brother had a, I think a black on gray, white on black, or black on white, and then I had the white on black, I'm pretty sure. Because I always like fucking black. But as you guys know, we're not really cool anymore, so it is what it is. This hat I got when I started to get like really into Carhartt. Now, obviously, I'm in Wisconsin. If you don't know what Carhartt is, you're probably not from cold state but it's basically like north face except it's not as fashionable it's more effective not saying north face isn't effective though because if you go like people that climb mount everest wear north face but i'm pretty sure people that live in like antarctica wear carhartt or something like that i know it's like they're both really fucking good basically so it's just flat brim it just has the little logo right there carhartt simple as that um, this is another one where it's just like a really big hat like Just you can tell like that the head frame of it is really big and it's really tight right now. I don't know why <laughs> but yeah, so eh. 
Um, here, oh, here's my Deadpool hat. I really like this hat. It has like this texture on the bottom. I thought that was pretty cool. I think I have a picture with it on, on my Instagram, on my personal Instagram, not my music Instagram. Um, and I used to wear this one to school as well, before Deadpool was a thing, before it was popular. Even though it was kind of always popular, before he was really popular, and even now, even more popular. I'm a fucking hipster, whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> this I like, this dark charcoal gray Vans hat. Oh my god. This hat's so dope, it fits nice. It's, you know, it is what it is. It's just all gray, simple. I like it. That one or this one were my go-to, and this one I had a lot longer, and this was another one I got from my dad that my uncle gave me, or gave him. So, it's a DGK. So, if you can't read it, it says, for those who come from nothing, which to me, you know, is kind of like a big thing, and then, you know, on the back, DGK, on the front, it just says DGK, DGK. If you don't know what DGK means, it's Dirty Ghetto Kids. Um, also on the bottom, yeah, it says it right there. Dirty Ghetto Kids. So, this hat I love too. Um, it's a little tight, but uh, I would rock this hat all the time. Like, all the time. For a long time. This one and that all black fox one and my New York Yankees one um, that says Yankees on the bottom. Those were like my go-to hats. Um, the Etnies one I wore for a while. When I was really young, the white with the light blue um, New York Yankees hat I would wear and like I said there's a lot of hats that aren't here just because I was so young I probably lost them or something happened when we moved or something but that is most of my hats um fuck I might as well just show you guys the rest but this video is gonna be long as hell so, I got a couple here um all right let's start over here so I have a bunch of different Carhartt hats that one's got camo on the bottom this one's got the mesh. This one doesn't have the mesh and just has the leather. Uh, this one is all camo. And then I have this real tree. It's pretty dope. And then I have this one is real tree, but the mesh is also camo. Team real tree. Those are like my up north hats, I guess you could say. Here's my Glock hat. And it is, you know, an actual Glock hat. Um, it's a Venom hat. I also have like a mask that goes with it. Here's the newest Detroit hat I have. Tigers. I actually really like that one. Uh, this is one of my favorite hats here. Because it's hard to find a good polo hat. But... This one, the polo isn't too big. The fit is nice. Great. I golf, so Callaway. It's my golfing hat. Here's the hat I had made. Timo Cruz. Timo Cruz. You've probably seen that before. And this one I didn't have made, but I had some of the things made, and I also used it to work, so it's pretty dirty. Um, the hat itself you can find on Amazon in all different colors and like camo. This one's all black. These patches I bought separately. It comes with, if you ever see my range bag, the, the like dark flag I have on there. It's a backwards American flag and it's like gray and black. It comes with that or if you take these off under it, it just says USA. Or no, it's a forward flag and then this one's a backwards flag. Um, and that, that just, it's the same thing. And then on the back I had a custom one made that says Martinez. Um, I also have one that says Timo Cruz. And I have one that says Vault Dweller 117. So, if I would go to like gaming stuff, I'd wear the Vault Dweller one. If I was wearing it for music, Timo Cruz. If I was just wearing it normally, I'd say Martinez. But I usually just keep Martinez on there. So, if I'm wearing Timo Cruz, then I usually wear the other hat or um, just one of these other hats that I'm about to show you, I guess. So, here we have a red New York hat, bright red, which I thought was pretty dope. Um, I wanted to get the LA one in that, but it didn't have it, so I got it in this maroon, kind of burgundy, I guess, like more maroonish. Um, Wisconsin Badgers. And I like I like these dad hats the style. Uh, white socks. 
that's a dope one. And then of course, Milwaukee Brewers. I want to get one with a glove too, but so that's most of my hats, except for the ones that I lost, and my beanies, which, for example, I have uh, some Neff beanies, you know, just some saggy beanies. Here's an all black one. Then I have a red one, a red and black one, which got stolen, kinda, sorta. Um, Carhartt. But then this is just a single one. Then I have, you know, the ones with the folds. Then I have a special limited one that I don't even think you can get anymore. It has the leather patch on it instead of that patch. It's bigger, and the patch itself isn't brown like their normal leather patches. It's black. So the hat's just all black. It looks really dope. It's also really heavy duty, so it's going to keep you warm. So I don't wear it a lot. Plus, I don't want it to get messed up. Um, but that's a really nice hat. And then I have my Supreme New Era hat. That one was really nice. Uh, just in red. I think you can get it in, like red, black, and white. Um, it's probably my most expensive hat by far. At least like resale price. Um, for Neff hats, I have the red one, black one, a gray and black one. Which when I say gray and black, I mean like, like if you see like gray with like that kind of, I forget like the style they call it. Not like henna, I forget what it's called, but it's like two tones, but it's not like stripes or dots. It's just like blended in together. It, so it just looks like a dark gray, but then you get close and you can see it's gray and black. And that's how the red one was too. But then my friend accidentally took it home because I let her wear it. And then I guess someone stole it from her. So I just got the all black one and the all red one. Um, other than that, I mean, just a couple of normal beanies, you know, but that's pretty much it for now for my hat collection. I do actually remember a couple of hats that uh, my mom and my brother have kind of like taken from me that I just didn't want anymore. One was just like an uh, army camo hat that had like a 7 or 47 or something on it. Um, a couple of probably just like echo hats, just a couple of different hats. I think I had a, uh, a South Pole one, some Zoo Yorks, um, man I used to have a lot of Zoo York shirts. But that's pretty much it for now. That's all the hats I have, have like today, to this date. Um, most of the hats I've ever had. Some people probably have way bigger you know, collections than me. But I do want to get St. Louis. I do want to get all different like California ones because I only have LA. Um, I want to get like, you know, all their shit. I probably won't ever get any more like football hats. I'm mostly like a baseball hat guy. Um, I definitely want to get like, you know, A's, Padres, stuff like that. But, um, that, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. I guess a Boston. I would like a Boston, maybe some more Texas hats. I mean, I'm probably not going to get that many more hats. Although, I'm going to have to cut my hair, and at that point, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, if I'm gonna wear hats or beanies or what, or if I'm just gonna be like, fuck it. But there, there, it depends on what time of my life it is. Sometimes I wear hats all the time. Other times it's like I only wear hats a little bit of the time. So like before I cut my hair, I was wearing hats for a long time, like the brimmed, and then it got cold, so I would wear saggy beanies, and then it would be windy, so then they blow off. So then I'd wear, you know, the, you know not heavy Carhartt, but still, you know, a nice Carhartt, um, and now I haven't really been wearing hats unless I wear that one, which it's been decent, it's been like 40s, 50s, not super cold, but then again, my ears stick out, but it's not too big of a deal, and some people are freaking out, like, holy shit, that's cold, nah, it's not, when I move to California, it probably will be pretty cold, but I've heard people out there, it hits 70, and they're like, oh, Gotta put on a jacket. What? Out here, 73 with a light breeze is perfect weather. Literally, that's the perfect weather. 73 with a little breeze, because you can literally wear anything you want. If you're just chilling, you can wear a sweatshirt, you can wear sweats. If you're running around, you can wear active gear. You know, you got that little breeze to compensate. You can wear anything, and I just think that's pretty dope. So. But 
that's basically it for today. This video, like I said, is probably over 20 minutes at this point, unless I cut a lot of shit out. But I might even put some more stuff besides my hats before that. So we'll see. This might be a big one. Um, I don't know if I have any other collections really to show. Mm, like games or something maybe? I don't know. But I just thought it was a cool video to kind of like update on. And I'm also like not... I'm ahead in updates, like, I'm probably like three, four weeks ahead, so this is one video, it doesn't matter when I make it, it'll always be relevant at the same time, so it doesn't matter really, and then I can kind of let it catch up, so then hopefully when my next video comes out, it's kind of more close to what's actually happening rather than like, I post that video and that was really three weeks old from what I was already doing, so that's another reason why I kind of want to uh, make a video like this, but that's about it so <laughs> everybody have a good one keep doing your thing keep showing me that love and support i love you for the very few that do <laughs> uh but i'm sure you know this year and i am sure i'm not just um no i am sure this year i'm gonna have a fan base so i'm gonna start making shirts and hats and shit for all my fans probably start with like hats because kind of one size fits all like my wristbands and my stickers shirts and sweatshirts it's gonna be like a, you know a little bit more difficult so but definitely gonna get that just follow your dreams man and come with me on my journey this, this is proof this is proof that you can do it and that's it that's all there is to it so enjoy it so until next time i'll check you guys next week um like I said, just keep doing, keep doing you, keep growing with yourself, and keep growing with me. And uh, I love all y'all. So here we go. So until next time, I'll check you guys next week. Um, like I said, just keep doing, keep doing you, keep growing with yourself, and keep growing with me. And uh, I love all y'all. So here we go.